I'm not the main author of, the, of this paper and this project, but uh, I am in the background uh, with the evaluation method of the, of the, the project. Now we are uh, presenting the Educational Qualitative Assessment of Augmented Reality Models and Digital Sketching Applied to Urban Planning. Um, this work addresses implementation of a mobile augmented reality tool in architecture and urban educational environments. And in previous presentations and on the other year, I am an engineering, uh, I'm an audiovisual, and audiovisual communication degree, but I am now teaching in architecture. Uh, I am working with Africa architects and with uh, civil buildings and engineers. It's uh, a little difficult, of course. Um, the basis of the project, our proposal, is uh, that the special skills of the students can improve them uh, using the native uh, affinity with uh, friendly digital media, for example, uh, laptops, uh, tablets, and mobile devices, and this type of technology. The proposed method aims to improve the access to multimedia content, especially 3D uh, data on mobile devices, allowing access to be adapted to all types of users and contents. Basically, we are focused on the education uh, in architecture, Outside Spain, we live in this name is a civil engineering degree, and we've been engineering degree. In this case, using augmented reality, but also, for example, this morning I explained uh, other projects using reality, uh, virtual reality, um, with technology implementation, because we think that uh, this is a friendly technology in the classroom, where students are prepared to use uh, this type of, the, of devices. Of course, we are very uh, worried about to use. Uh, clear user studies uh, to minimize typical errors and obtain quality, qualitative and qualitative results for technology implementation and of course the evaluation assessment based on the typology of the users and the uh, sample uh, data. What we do? We went to improve the three special skills of the students, uh, improve their motivation and the satisfaction of our students and of course the final marks using the final te uh, friendly technologies and classic technologies, of course, and focusing in uh, these types of, of studies, architecture studies, human design, and learning methodologies. Augmented reality technology is based on overlapping uh, virtual information and real space. It could be potentially more interesting in the representation and management of complex uh, data in territory and building. And there are two main methods. The first one, Using printing codes like this one, when the, the camera of the device captures this uh, type of information, uh, and the device downloads the 3D model of the information and put in the, in the, in the screen. Or the other uh, type is using geographical information systems. Uh, you put your uh, model uh, using uh, uh, geographical. Uh, Location and when you are with your device viewing uh, in the space, you can view the information that you are uh, programming in the, in the device. For example, in this case, when we focus on the building, we can view some type of light with information related to the, to the building. Our proposal involves information management through uh, geographical information system technologies. Visualization using augmented reality and virtual reality, real time interactivity, use of 3D virtual elements and mix of virtual elements with real elements, all type of mobile devices interaction. And uh, in this case, in this particular case, we are working with digital sketching, something directly related with the activity of architecture and urban planners. Um, when a civil engineering or an architect goes in travel or are in uh, a country, it's very typical that they are using a drawing. We are making, for example, using a map, okay, here this is a chart, but the architect are drawing the chart. Okay, this is a typical method, but why not using, for example, an electronic device? This is a digital sketching. There are some applications that you can use, for example, a tablet or a mobile device with a pen, with an electronic uh, uh, point, you can, for example, there are some uh, different examples of my colleague uh, Ernest 
redondo using a, a tablet uh, drawing different information. <coughs> this process seems to be preparation virtual model generated by the students on a mobile application and built in some planet side. Um, in this case, it's very it's different from other that I explained uh, in the morning and, and the last year. Uh, the city of Canada is in a city in North Mexico. Uh, contact with us because we are working with this uh, type of technology. Um, there is a faculty here of uh, urban planner and architecture and building engineering degree. Uh, okay, we have a little problem because there is an uh, urban uh, space area with traditional activity, like a market from here in Spain. Uh, very chaotic situation and in these streets uh, every, every week. And uh, they want to restructure to, uh, uh, all the information on this, uh, this type of market is in the floor and why not to uh, design, for example, a typical uh, place to put all the, uh, all the marketing that they uh, have in this market. Okay, uh, these uh, street markets called Tianguis are having the 26 place on uh, Sundays and Wednesdays on industrial frame because it's this size and the variety of products. Okay, and the municipality of Tanara is trying to regulate the, them and uh, they want to uh, have uh, other position of the, of the species of this type of market and before this objective is not only going to improve the urban landscape, uh, they want to uh, consult the municipality and the citizens of the Tonara if the proposals of the students are okay to put the new type of uh, market. What methodology uh, we use? Uh, the GDV we developed uh, throughout uh, this year is this of the uh, response uh, codes to conduct an experiment on citizen participation. This, uh, this phase uh, now is a development. We have put uh, some different QR codes in the city, and the citizen can scan the QR codes and download the model of the proposal of the different Tianguis, and to evaluate if the Tiangi and the proposal of the market is uh, currently, if I agree or not agree, uh, what type of evaluation I can uh, give with the information that I can view in the street. The first files uh, present in this paper as a result of uh, one workshop. More details in the proceedings. You can view what the programs, uh, applications, and the system, and to uh, use with, uh, with the students. Uh, the students are modeling uh, new elements of the street furniture, points of sight of the Tianguis, their organization of the streets, and their new urban design using digital sketching through digital drawing on tablets. And finally, we have a conducting an evaluation and assessment of the students about the process. What do you think about the process? What do you think about the technology? What do you think about this type of technology applied to urban design? Um, this was so uh, was developed in February. Uh, has uh, 24 hours of explanation uh, about the technology and the procedure to, uh, implement the, to make the implementation with uh, 35 students, uh, 50 students, uh, 15 for male and uh, 17 for female. Here you can view uh, some information about the workshop. For example, in this one, uh, the first step was to test a prototype displaying using augmented reality. Uh, the students in the faculty modeled using 3D students a basic model and put uh, using an AMAR in the street and viewing uh, this type of uh, sculpture models and abstracted models in, in the street. Okay, to evaluate that using uh, a device with a camera, it's possible to view some information uh, with 3D, with uh, textures and illumination, and all information about the model. Here you can view the generation process of interactive panoramas to view mobile devices about the position of the, the new Tianguis market, okay? And with different views of every uh, step. 
the sketches development using digital drawing in the next facet of the development of the, of the workshop was the students drawing using uh, tablet or mobile devices and to, uh, to draw the streets, to draw the position of the tianguis and to draw a basic uh, element of the market. And finally, uh, they develop uh, a presentation. For example, this is a, an example of uh, three, three uh, panels, printed panels, with all the information about uh, one uh, proposal to put in the market, in, in this case of uh, one, one, no, three students. Okay? And this type of information was put in the streets of the Tonala, and now we are collecting the data about the information that uh, the citizens okay, go to the street, view the scan, you can download the information, you download the model, and because it's uh, geographic, geolocation information modeled in this position, you can view with your camera the proposal of the students. It's not necessary a map because GPS locate your mobiles and when you are in the correct position you can view the 3D model of the student to kind of uh, more close to the model you can view the model in all 3D positions and you can, okay, I, I like and you make the, 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 the quiz of the, of the system with our students using the bipolar labeling a technique uh, from Socratic uh, paradigm of uh, psychology models. We are uh, asking of our students about the experience. Okay, what do you think? What are uh, the three more positive elements of the project? What are the <coughs> sorry, the three negative uh, elements of the project? You can view here, for example, uh, both uh, positive. Uh, Common and positive particular. This one, for example, is one fit by only one person, and in this case, we have uh, more seat. For example, uh, information technology is useful for real projects. Uh, with all the students, 50% uh, of the students uh, say this one is one of the positive elements of the experience. With an average from uh, zero from 10 of uh, nine percent nine. Motivation using information technologies. For example, 40% uh, uh, what seat at this, uh, this point. Negative common elements, and particularly elements. It's something similar with previous experiments that we fit uh, with uh, comment in other representations. The students' lack of time in the initial explanation, work groups, in this case, uh, is, is, is very typical situation uh, in architecture. Okay, I uh, work with my colleague, but I have a problem because the information of my colleague is not ready, and I need the information, or oh, today uh, this is not in the class, oh, 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 oh. I think that the architect uh, works better alone. <laughs> it's not a good idea to work in pairs or to work in groups. Uh, it's very interesting that the lack of time. They need more time. They want more time in the explanation. They want uh, more time to uh, develop and to practice with other devices, with other uh, software, etc. They are very motivated uh, using this type of technologies in front of the typical uh, 2D plans and mock -up, uh, physical mockups. When we ask about positive and negative elements, we ask them about solutions. For example, if in a positive element they put on a seven, okay, why not eight? Why not ten? Why not nine? And if you put a four, why four? Uh, why not a six? Uh, what can I do to improve this point? And you can view here the solutions, uh, especially the by students, more time to practice, more time of previous explanation, uh, better examples, more research and about how more devices, they want more, more, more. Uh, using this type of technologies, the students want more. My ideas, 
Uh, the use of mobile technologies and visual systems of the latest generation are more, more motivating for the students. The students do not reduce the investment of time, they want more time. Augmented reality and digital sketching as dynamic, hybrid, and ubiquitous visualization systems or even solutions are good solutions applied to the educational framework. And, of course, these systems are free without cost for the students. Uh, they are cheap and accessible technologies. About 95% of the students have a smartphone. And then it's very easy to use this type of technologies in the classroom. Uh, okay, it's a good idea. What, I, what are we are doing now? We are looking for uh, generate uh, to design a new type of uh, assessment evaluation using indicators, using uh, good variables to evaluate if the competencies and the skills of the students uh, describes in the, in, the, in the plans of the degrees are currently uh, assessment. And so, the, these technologies are recommended accessible and easy to use. They increase the student satisfaction and interest in the course content, and the students feel very motivated and regular users of mobile devices. Uh, that's all. I mean, our floor is Ernesto Londo from uh, Polytechnic Catalonia University of Barcelona, and um, this is my